The countdown has begun for Sunita Williams' return to Earth. Big Six, Falcon 9, launch has been successful. Success at last after days of delay. Crew 10 is in the orbit. The next destination is the International Space Station. Crew 10 to replace William and Wilmore. Sunita Williams is now a step closer to Earth. It seems like there is an end in sight for the nine-month-long ordeal that Sunita Williams and her co-passenger, which Woolmore, has been facing over the past many months. Which Woolmore, along with her, his, both of them, Sunita Williams and Butch Woolmore, have been stuck at the International Space Station for over nine months, and now it seems like they are a step closer to homecoming. It's the countdown that has begun for Sunita Williams' return to Earth. SpaceX Falcon 9 launch has been successful and this success has come after days of delay. Crew 10 is now in the orbit. The next destination is the International Space Station. Crew 10 to replace Williams and Wilmore. All the eyes now on this rescue mission that has already begun. Sunita Williams is now a step closer to coming back on Earth. already pulling over two G's. Next up, we'll have a couple of events happening in rapid succession. Back chill started. First will be that engine chill on the second stage and back engine, which we just heard. And then we'll have Miko or main engine cutoff where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages. We'll be separating from one another. Then the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry crew 10 to orbit while the first stage begins its journey back to Earth. Now we're just two minutes into today's flight. The vehicle is traveling just under 4,000 miles per hour. We're just about 20 seconds away from those events that Anna just mentioned. Uh, the nine Merlin engines will shut down here in just about 10 seconds for Miko. Stage separation and SES-1. Main engine cutoff. Dragon, two alpha. Stage liberation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. Great call-outs and incredible views there on your left-hand screen. On your left-hand screen, you can see a view from stage one. <laughs> and an extremely excited crowd here in Hawthorne. Awesome views of that boost back burn on the first stage, as well as the MVAC engine igniting on the second stage. Great views there. Now the booster is in its boost back burn. This is the first of three burns as it makes its way back down to Earth. This will last about 45 seconds. And the crew, 10 crew, is still onboard Dragon attached to Falcon 9 second stage, which you can see there on your right-hand screen. 
And we're now at three minutes and 20 seconds into today's fight. The vehicle is traveling about 6,500 miles per hour. And they are on their way to the space station. And we did have that confirmation um, coming up of the boost back shutdown. And then coming up in at the T plus six minute mark. Uh, coming, And there we have our first images of the crew inside the Dragon spacecraft as they make their way into orbit. And the crew Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing to get good call outs. SpaceX, Dragon, copy nominal. Stage two it continues to be on power with, uh, and it's firing until we get to that second stage engine cutoff around the nine minute mark of flight. It's about five minutes of flight to go before Dragon will be flying free. Some cool views there on your left hand screen. That's the first stage booster as it's making its way back down to Earth. This is a ground tracking camera getting these awesome views. <laughs> and on the right hand side of your screen, you can see that lone Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. We're continuing to get good performance on the second stage. And the crew's G loads will dip right when we hit the separation events, and it's going to continue to build up until then. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. SpaceX, Dragon, copy nominal. We're now at five minutes into today's flight uh, with a liftoff at 7.03 p.m. Pacific, 4.03 uh, p.m. Eastern, 4.03 p.m. Pacific, continuing to get good call outs as stage one makes its way back to Earth and stage two continues to fire, propelling Dragon into orbit. If you're just now joining us, the four members of Crew 10 launched from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And they're currently on board Dragon, still attached to Falcon 9 second stage, which you're seeing there on your right hand screen, on your left hand screen. The first stage vehicle is making its way back down to Earth. It already completed the first of three burns as the boost back burn. And the next event coming up for that vehicle is going to be the entry burn. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Great call outs there. That entry burn is coming up. SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. That entry burn is coming up here in just under 20 seconds. We'll reignite three of those nine Merlin-1D engines to help slow the vehicle down as it makes its way back into the Earth's atmosphere. We're now just over six minutes into today's flight as Dragon and the second stage continue traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, making their way into orbit and on the way to the International Space Station. There, we just saw on the screen, it was very quick, but we had the entry burn, which we got some cool views of that from the ground, which is awesome. Now, the next event coming up will be the landing burn for the first stage. That's coming up here in about 30 seconds. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Again, great call outs for SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. Confirmation there from the crew as they continue to make their way into orbit. Now seven minutes into today's flight, the first stage making its way back down to Earth and the second stage continuing to fire. This is an awesome view. Let's see if we can see the center engine relight for that landing burn here in a few seconds. There's that landing burn. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down. 